Alright guys, so here I am again, your girl, Yensid Nerd. Maybe I should just have you call me Yensid. Yensid, Yensid, Yensid. Could, maybe, we'll, we'll think about that. Maybe I'll just have you call me Yensid. Um, anyhow, we are back again for you beautiful people on YouTube. Hey, hey, hey. So, what we're going to do getting down to the business, the nitty gritty, is we're going to do a quick video on crazy, silly, stupid, ridiculous, I'm not sure how I'm going to word it, moments at a restaurant. Just those moments where you're like, really? Maybe that's what I'll call it, the really? Moments at a restaurant. I like it. Coming at you. Here we go. Okay. So the first really moment that comes to my head when I think about going out and eating at a restaurant is the ever popular moment when a server drops some plates or dishes and it makes a loud noise. Whether it breaks anything or not, it just makes a loud noise and a mess. And more times than not, this is what I hear. Like, we are celebrating that they just had an embarrassing moment at work where they're probably looking over at their boss going, I don't think I broke anything, but if I broke anything, please don't take it out of my check. But we're going, yeah, you dropped that tray like a boss. Even though your boss might fire you. But we're just, we're cheering. Now I know we're trying to make them feel like you know, it happens to everyone. It was an epic, awesome spill. If you had to spill it, that's the most mwah, beautiful way to spill it. Good job. Don't worry about it. Everybody's fine. No harm, no foul. Sweep it up. Move on. We'll try and give you a tip because we feel bad for you. That's what we do. The ever epic glass just got spilled on the table moment. Now, for some strange reason, for the most time, the liquid coming out of your glass is moving slowly across the table, but still, Everybody on the side of the table that that liquid is going to is like, like it's a flood. It's like, more times than not, I've seen this happen. Serious, it's water. So it's not going to stand anything. You just might get a little cold and damp. But still, we got going on. Ooh. Simba and. Mustafa just got tilted. See, that's how bad it is. You are affecting Disney with your ridiculous dramatic. It's just a drink. It is just a drink. And the sad thing is, we're so dramatic about it, the waiter or waitress is now freaking out, apologizing profusely, grabbing any kind of substance that might soak that up to s cover your table. The whole table. Even though it's probably not even a big spill. So that's my, really, moment for you indecisive take forever menu selection moment this is when a girl even if they're not dating you even if you're going like Dutch or you're with a bunch of friends they cannot make up their mind you really didn't know what kind of food you wanted when you finally got around to picking this type of restaurant really okay. now the next really moment that I'm gonna do is actually just one to benefit me so that my friends who eat out with me hopefully might stop picking on me a little bit because this happens to me a lot and maybe it's I don't know I'm getting old or I drink too much or all of the above but this really moment is when you have a friend who goes to the bathroom like five times while you're at the restaurant now there are several reasons for this so you need to stop picking on them one they just drank a ton of drink and the human body can only hold like 12 ounces of liquid at a time that that is how much uh, your bladder? Yes, that's how big your bladder is. I remember the organ. Bladder. Yes, Emily, it wasn't liver. Why would you think liver? Bladder, bladder. Your bladder can only hold about 12 fluid ounces. Scientifically provable. Go to like, you know, WebMD or Wikipedia or Yahoo Answers. I don't care where you go. Someone will tell you what I just said or something even smaller. But trust me, you cannot handle 20 fluid ounces, which is generally how much all restaurants have their glasses at. 20 fluid ounces, and I chug those bad boys down like I just left the Sahara. I drink no less than three glasses of any kind, well, cola. Some kind of cola while I'm at a restaurant, whether that's Coke or Pepsi. I don't care. 
Coca-Cola. 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 Just don't make a diet. Cola. I'll take a cola. Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola. They both got cola in the name. So, cola. So, either they just drank a lot, and their bladder, like yours, is about the same size, which is not big enough to deal with all that. Or, two, the food just is not like in their tum-tum, and they got some rum-rum in the tum-tum. They got some rumbling, and they need to take care of that, because they don't want rumbling going on while they're talking to you, because it's awkward and potentially nasty. So they gotta, they, just let them do what they do. They know their body. Just trust them to know their body. Go do what they gotta do and come back and have a fun and engaged conversation with you instead of sitting there going, is my bladder full? Oh, what was that spice in that? It's not, it's not sitting right. What about your puppy? Uh-huh. You named it Tinkles? Because it's spring? Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, right back, okay? I just, yes, I just went to the bathroom, but Tinkles, you named it Tinkle. That's all, I gotta go. Go, they don't need a style, Banyo, 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 Banya. Go, I'm going. You know I'm going. Don't shame me. Do not restroom shame me. I just got, it's just, it's how it works. It's, you know, biology. My biology needs that restroom. Don't judge. Do not judge. Be nice to your friends who need bathrooms more than you. Someday, you might need bathrooms more too, and we will understand. Well, compassion. Tons of compassion. So have some.